Hey guys, it's Molly Sanyer, it's Monday night, it's Thursday hey with Molly, and tonight we have hey my guys. co-worker, my boss, my friend, my inspiration, boss. my cheerleader, so many things to say <laughs> about girl. Amy Chaplin. Quite the welcome. Yay, thanks for being here. Guys, I've tried to get Amy on here for, since my mom has been telling me I need Amy on here, and tonight's the night. She's Everyone loves us. Amy. Cheers. We actually do a lot of cheers, you know? We, we do, do a lot of cheers. Cheers. Kind of cheers. Thank you so much. Cheers, cheers. girl. Cheers, girl. Yeah. Hi, lady. Monday night. Monday nights. So, tonight, oh, and look, LPKWI, that's my dad, so he's going to be so jealous. Look, Amy. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, tonight, Amy Chaplin. Now, well, let's tell them what you want to throw. I'll tell you what I'm going to throw. We'll start throwing, and then we'll get your story and everything. Okay. Okay. All right. So... This morning when I got to work, Molly immediately started in on me. So, what are you going to do? Molly? What is your goal? No. What are you doing? Which was there? Five minutes. That doesn't sound like Molly. So I was thinking about it, and I was like, well, what do I want to do? And what I've been, if I'm going to give an authentic answer, what I've been thinking about well, making it. anyway is spirit jars. What's because a spirit jar? Spirit jar, there's lots of ancient cultures that kind of embrace the idea of the spirit jar. I like the Native American rendition where oh, so you make like this you. beautiful jar, <laughs> you put a tiny hole in it somewhere so that your, the spirits, your ancestors and stuff, when they come to visit you in your dreams, they have a place to rest. Oh my God, I love that. So I was thinking about Will making make me one this. tonight? I will. Okay, you could trim them, maybe. <gasps> there you go. Team effort. There okay. You go. Okay. I'll so put it, on it. I don't know if Amy's explanation of her dream catcher showed dream you any catcher. dream catcher. Spirit, spirit jar. jar. Spirit jar. I kind of want to Google a spirit jar. Is this a spirit or jar? Is this your creation. It's a thing. Well, it's a thing. Turn this on. Okay. Yeah. But it's there's different Here's interpretations. I love it. I'm so here for it. Okay. So spirit jar. Jar. Girl. Jar. Amy's spirit jar. Amy and I, coworkers, we will have to tell you about what we do, but we are very yin and yang, which I love. Wow. She's like the art history, the traditional, and I'm like, I don't even know how you describe <laughs> Modern and contemporary. <laughs> so anyways, Beyonce. So she's doing that, and I'm going to throw some bud bases off the hump. Last week we did um, incense burners off the hump with Christy. That was so fun. So fun. So fun. Love some crafting. Blair didn't know what throwing off the hump was. Now she does. I guess. And I guess we're on. So I'm going to just throw some bud faces. My um, upcoming project is Arts in the Park, which you should do Arts in the Park. You should do Arts in the Park. That's a lot of money on the table. Is it? It's, no? it's the is cheapest it? one you could do. Hey, girl, hey. Hey, girl, nut. So now that we know my coworker Amy is our guest tonight, thank you for coming. Yay. Yay. Blair is here. Amy, how did you get into play? Stumbled into it accidentally on purpose. Um, so I'd Tell always liked more. I'd always liked art, always, but sort of liked it from like the you. museum. Kind of like my mom worked theater? in a museum, yeah, and so I just I really just liked the stories I imagined behind art. But I was never Ms. great Chaplin, at 2D art. Miss Chaplin, somebody's watching you, Rebecca. Yay! Hey, ten twenty, Miss Chaplin. Um, but in college, I got into it and like just. Just working three dimensional just came so much more naturally to me than yeah. working two dimensional. I can um, see that. And it was like an automatic love affair. It was immediate, and I was like, "How do I do make this and make a living this. at this?" And even when it's annoyed me and frustrated me, and I'm like, "I'm done. I'm walking away for this." I can't. It just so were your parents and everybody supportive of you being an artist? <laughs> I feel like um, that's a journey in itself. Yeah, you know, to no. Are navigate you kidding? yourself towards becoming an artist as your yeah. career seems like I'm sure you had a fair amount of people be like, "Girl, you crazy." Yeah. Well, my dad's like, "How many mugs at twelve dollars a piece yeah. do you have to sell to like make your rent? Uh, and then where are you going to do this? And how are you going to do it? And why have I spent, you know, fifty thousand dollars <laughs> plus educating mm. you if this is what you're going to major so in? You mug. Make a damn good mug. Right. So the he best. said. And he actually, my dad has a mug that he's had. I graduated from college in 1992. Yeah, he does. He has a mug on his desk that he calls his 
$150,000 oh, mug. And that's he's like, cute. that's what I paid for it. That's well, and I cute. feel like a lot of people who watch always are asking, like, should I go to art college? Do I need a ceramic yeah. degree? That's a big yeah. choice. It is. And my dad said, I'm not paying $30,000 a year for you to major in mug. Yeah. So oh, I got my degree in education, and I minored in ceramics. And I went my senior year of college to interviews at schools and I was going to drop off my resume at the school and as I park I look across the street and I realize it's a ceramic studio. Stop it. Yeah, it was 43rd Street Gallery. So I just walked in and was like, hey, if you guys need help, here's my number. And they actually called me a few days later and I got the job at the school that I was dropping <laughs> my resume out. It was meant to be. It was so your best day ever. It was my best. I remember laying in bed that night and being like, I got my foot in the door. <laughs> Guys, I'm so excited to have Amy here because it's been a long time in the making. So how long have you been working at Trinity? How long have you and I been working together? Four years. The, how um, do you not know this? I, you know, time years. has stopped since time I've has known stopped. you. We've been working together for four years. Before that, I remember walking into the Trinity studio and seeing all of these things Thing. And I'm like, well, what is that? How do you use that? And he's like, oh, it's a gift thing. Grip. It just centers your pot. That's how you do it. <laughs> and like the clay mixer, I'm like, what? she's like, you know, we just recycle our clay right here. And I'm like, what is that? I've never seen any of this stuff. Amy has guided all me. All the tips and tricks. <laughs> yes. And now I say that Amy and I work at the best school ever. We, Sorry, we have a pretty good. Someone's message. Message. Everyone keeps ignoring my messages. Hit us again, friends. Yeah, Sorry. hit us again. There's I will keep my eyes peeled. I will focus. All right, so I'm making butt vases, and one thing I realized with butt vases is you need this little neck very narrow, or else they are not functional. Like, nobody wants an open butt vase. Oh, so you got to keep your butt upright. But then I don't like ever how it, like, gets so sharp right there. It's like, ugh. 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 So, I'm sure you can fix it as the fixer of things and ceramic teacher that you are. Well, like two ceramic gurus here. This is kind of nuts watching you guys go. <laughs> well, and it's so fun for me because, so, I mean, normally Brazil. people have never thrown and then I'm like hand over hand and I give them a demo and then we're learning and we're doing and then it's over. And then like we hang out and we, they throw a little bit, but like this is so funny because you're just like making stuff. Because y'all are just two buds, two girls in the studio just throwing. That's right. Look at what are we making? I am making bud vases. Well, I'm working on one currently. Bud vase. And these are for Arts in the Park? Are you going to sell They will them? be there. Um, but Amy Chaplin, my co-worker here, is making, you tell them again what you're making. I'm making Molly, spirit jars, but really I've been so distracted it's going to probably end up being a casserole dish. <laughs> I was wondering about your spirit jar, if that's um, what you were going for. Oh, sometimes you have to let the clay tell you what it was. Yeah. Well, Blair, I have some questions for you oh, yeah. about Molly. Okay. Might so, not be allowed, but hit me with it. It's all right. <laughs> so, if someone said to me, Amy, describe Molly in one word, I would say excitable. That's a good one. Was she an excited child? Like, was she, like, Freaking out like mm -hmm. at Christmas Eve and yeah. for her Still birthday. Is. Yeah, okay. I'd say that. And it was a lot of like, I'm excited! I'm excited! I'm excited! Uh huh. Okay. Uh huh. She operates up there a lot. Okay. <laughs> it's comfortable for her up there. All right. So this yeah. isn't like something that like hit her in no. her thirties. <laughs> no. Since right. um, the beginning. Yeah, it's pretty authentic. It's pretty authentic Ooh. for mom. Y'all, I don't know that I, I mean, I am loving tonight for so many reasons, but I'm also, <sighs> okay. She knew exactly what she was getting into I did. I'm when so she asked me to come down. Yes. I so mean, we also told our students that um, Miss Chaplin was going to be here tonight, so are any of y'all watching? What does that say? Amy was the first wheel throwing teacher I took. Class from in at the hand workshop way back. Our used to teach in hand fan kids. Oh, yes. Oh my God, that was a million years ago. That's cool. Look, there's Jude Cavani. Jude Cavani, I love you. Woo! We love you, Jude Cavani. Are these students? Is Colin with you? You know, Colin it was what a former student. Have with students and teachers. It's so <laughs> fun. And is Colin out there? Because it was the Colin and Amy show. That's because we argued. 
My, I remember my first encounter at Trinity was watching Amy teaching Colin, this student, who, Colin, are you out there? I don't know. And y'all were just hilarious. The bantering <laughs> back and Amy forth with the Kamey and Alan. Can't, can't see it. Amy. Amy and Colin show. The Kamey show. <laughs> the Kamey. Jude's telling them to get on. All right, so we've made one. Okay, I uh, got distracted. My root Story of our life. Is a spirit no. jar supposed to be that size? You can make it any size you want. It's just a lid and form. With a little hole in it so the spirit totally can go like in that. and out. I totally like that. Guess. So that's why I said it might resemble our casserole dish in some way or fashion. We'll just we know what you need to We've done this before. <laughs> yeah. So, and Amy has taught me so many different tricks and tips over the years. You have your own phrases, oftentimes. Blair, what are some of my phrases? Everybody knows your phrases, girl. Sign it like famous, don't over love. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Zero to three, zero to three, zero to three. Try to try to try. Did I miss any? No, but so Amy Those has highlights, and that, that was really good. Thinking. That was I, really good. <laughs> I really just wanted to crush that. that. Flair's a really good student. Good. She, I it before. like I said, Blair had never thrown and now she's throwing and trimming. That's amazing. She made um, planters. Back here. Actually, your planters are in the kiln. Stop. I have a glaze kiln. I'm so excited. It's pulling right now. Oh hey, y'all, who's that? So Lady. What kind of clay are we using? Do you want to talk to them about the clay we're using? It's the same, same kind that Yeah, small. we're using a, a white yeah, high fire stone white. Well, don't take it too far because I need to make a little Here, put it right. Yeah, I'm Here, just trying yeah, to make myself right useful. That's all right. Thank you, Blair. Mm -hmm. Just hang tight, girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess we shouldn't have moments of silence. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. No. Um, I want Blair to map out where y'all are from. Where is everybody from? <laughs> is this all just local yokels here? Let's see. Tell us where y'all are from. Hey, hey girls. Oh, mom's right on. Oh, Mom, it's your dream. Hi, Sally. What's the best wheel to buy? What's your favorite wheel? I love a Brent CXC. I, love a Brent. I can't help it. Not Florida. Tips on how not to get throwing lines. New York, Richmond, Connecticut, Michigan, Jamaica. I love me some Amy, Mom said. North Carolina. Okay, so we Minneapolis. Have the East Coast. Indianapolis. Okay. Hampton. Indy or Mini? Um, both. Minneapolis and Indianapolis. Argentina, California, California Boston. Argentina. Wow. <laughs> When I, I ran to come on Washington. Oh, Lord. <laughs> okay, don't, don't fire them off too quick or anything, okay? I, I just got all of those, just nailed it. I didn't miss it. Takes me a while on the map. Boom, boom, boom. All around the world. I swear. All right, answer the latest question about throwing lines. Some <laughs> artists embrace them. They think it's a sign that it's, you know, handmade, on a wheel. That's... Almost like a signature. Embrace what? The lines? Throwing lines, yeah. But if you don't like them, you just have to take your time pulling up a little bit more. You know? Or use a sponge. Your pressure. Use a sponge. Use a rib. Use a tool. Um, you know what I want you to do, Amy, is talk about other of your sayings. Because I um, have my sayings, but Amy has her sayings. Like, what do you tell them when their pot cracks or breaks? <laughs> <laughs> No, if anyone forms into other watching her, like, and I would smack her every time she said it. Oh, why that? Um, uh, and this, I have read this before. <laughs> that the Native Americans believe that clay is the flesh of Mother Earth. Duh. And that when a pot breaks, it's just the spirit of the clay wanting to be free. You can't help it. Like, it's just the way it is. And then the kid looks at her and looks at the pot and is like... Is that what you would say, like, to a kid as their pop Oh, I'd probably say it, like, four times a day. Yeah, like I say, sign it like you're famous. It's She's the like... the of the earth wanting to be released. Well, you, I, that's my first speech, like, the first day. But then after that, I'm like, it's just the spirit of the clay wanting to be free. If I've ever said that to you, get on there and be like, yeah, she has. Yeah, has she said that to anyone? I don't think I have that? enough clay here to make a lid. Oh, here, you got more right beside No, you. I know, but we'll just see what happens. So Amy and I are super pumped because we're about, it's about to be raccoon season. Yeah, it is. Raccoon season. season. Well, you know, it's not So there's going to be tons of videos off of that, I'm sure. Yes, I hope. 
you know. <laughs> Molly likes to post a video. Yes, she Guys, does. I I started Amy's Instagram. Amy Bainham Jacqueline. Or is it Amy? She has an Insta in my name. Which so she Molly said I have to it. take over. Yeah, I started her. Do I love a question? I don't know. How, I don't remember my password. Your Instagram password? Yeah. That's a little problematic. Right. You might need to look at it. Yeah. Where my tools went. Someone has a question about pulling. Okay. What, what is pulling it? Pulling my wall and I pulled it right off. What did I do wrong? Oh, you squeeze too, too hard. Pressure. Too much pressure. Ooh. One of my sayings, Clay, she is a fickle lover. <laughs> ah, I'm going to lose this trying to get this lost all of our work. What is the best advice you would give an amateur who's just getting started and learning? Practice, practice, practice. Oh my God, somebody said practice. Is that one of your students? Did they know you were going to say that? I don't know. My students don't listen to anything I say. <laughs> I would say embrace the process, not the product. Because once you really, saying, she's well, got some good is. sayings. That's one of them. Um, because if you keep just thinking about the final product constantly, you're not learning. Because every pot has something to teach you, and you have to take the time to think. Like, what did I? Why did that one work? Um, you're it's not a failure. Do you see why I love her? <laughs> Guys, this is my coworker, and technically, she's my boss. And I love my job. I love how you put technically. <laughs> technically, yeah. I mean, technically, it's just like, <laughs> she's technically, boss. Technically, yeah, technically, well, like, technically, there's, like, the headmaster. I guess they would be the boss. But, like, you're also, I feel like, one of my bosses. I'll take it. Yeah. What's it saying? I think it's only on Facebook Live that you I'm about hiding can hide the comments. Oh, so are the words coming up too high? See, this is what I was trying to draw. Do to adjust? No. Because I, I don't want to cut your head off and, you know. I can adjust myself. Fine. I'm flexible back here. You are flexible. Yeah, we have all this. Blair, things. what's been your favorite you thing? Lower your stool. No, but I'm shorty. What's been your favorite thing to make or do? Because I was trying to tell Amy how you had never thrown. And now you've got. Well, I wanted to make my potters. And it turns out that throwing large planter. pieces of clay is not easy. No. <laughs> so, um, I thought I would say that was my favorite, but I haven't really done it yet, because it's kind of hard. I don't really know what else I've made. You know what? That's not true. Everything I've made, like little bed bases, I'm using somewhere. See? I have one yeah. in my fridge that holds my jade face oh, roller cute. that Allison gave us. Cute. I have one in my car, and I also my knickknacks. I put my toothbrush in one. I use them all. Who well, knew you could use so many white Generic. I was going to say, that's why it's good. They're all white. <laughs> they come in pretty handy. I have one for my business cards at my office. There you go. Cute little thing. So okay. now it's time for you to start giving them away and like sharing. I don't think anybody wants that. <laughs> <laughs> Molly, have you ever hand built any pieces? I've seen many of your amazing plates and pieces yet. Not sure. Well, guess what? If you go look at my story right now, that person wants to buy some and they can't find it. Oh, you want to buy the hand, the hand built stuff? Can't. If, are they not looking in the right place? I don't have any of them listed online. Well, you have some in Arts in the Park. It is on my want to make list for Arts in the Park. More hand built serving dishes. We'll see. What happened to the spoons you hand made? Was that a thing? Did that happen? Yes. Didn't I give you one? Yeah, a little one that I use and I love. And that's just my coffee. Do you one. love it? Do you use I it? I do. But in my head, I thought you made like some big ones for like serving and stuff. Yes. Was that a thing? I have them. I haven't used them yet. How do you price your pieces? That's, that's a good good question. That is a great question. <laughs> Talk about an art, not a science. That Lord. is really hard. That's yeah. why artists go and get a business degree so that they know that. It's actually kind of really smart. Um, you just look at whatever else is already out there. You kind of look at, like, if you're making a mug, how much are other people in your kind of skill level, or I don't know, how much are they selling it for, and then how much do you want to sell it for? Do you want to be the, like, the most expensive and not sell very many? Do you want to be a cheap one and sell a ton? Like, I don't, it's hard. I hate prices. It is hard. I also think that you could probably find online some super type A anal potter that has some formula for... If it's two pounds of clay and it's fired at cone six for 12 hours, then, you know, it's 22 cents 
But now we're going to account the love. That goes it doesn't in. take into account. And that's the other uh, thing, too. You know, the thing I'm about ceramics you, girl. that's frustrating. Oh, you got it. You got it. Ugh. Is Frank the price. That, I mean, and the cost of having a home studio or yeah. um, even doing it as a class. It's one of the more expensive art classes to take. Probably glass is the only one that's more, would you say? Yeah. Um, that's a really good point. It's expensive, it's time consuming, and you got to be willing to experiment and fail and be okay with that. Yeah, um, we just went. We were in Sinka last week in Pittsburgh. That was awesome. And one of the things that we walked away from with almost every lecture that we went to is that here are these professional artists with degrees and experience and running these mass studios. They were trying things over and over and over again and failing, failing, failing. The one guy said, "I had to fire a kiln twelve times yeah. before I got it right. Twelve times." That's commitment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've been like, I can't get it. I get it. <laughs> we are in Richmond. That's a really good point. And I'm offering classes this summer. Look, see, look, talking about messing up. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Just crash. The down. spirit of the clay wants to be free. The spirit of the clay to be free. It's not meant to be. Uh, but so Amy's also really good at art history. I love this. She loves art history and she loves reading and all these things that I, do. I don't. <laughs> what do you love about art history? I love how artists are always so avant-garde, so before the wave. They know the political climate, they know the social climate, they know the economic climate before we as society accept it. And I just think I admire that vision, especially like the artists in the late 1800s, early 1900s, like with World War I going on, and World War II, and the Industrial Revolution, and the invention of the nuclear bomb, and how they all absorbed it, and communicated it, and we can look back on it and learn something really valuable. Yeah, like, and Amy's class is... totally sold me on our history. Oh my gosh, I mean, I'm I telling you. I love our history. That's cool. She Thank you, it. Mama. <laughs> you <laughs> felt that in me. I didn't join the Junior League, but I love our history. Yeah, Amy tells our history like she knows everybody. Like, she's already read all about them. She's like, knows everything about every artist. And I'm like, tell That is not true. That is not true. That is not true. It's pretty But true. I get on these jags and these obsessions where I spend, like, three months, like, Everything I can about Jasper Jones. Yeah. And it's very myopic. <laughs> I can totally see you getting into that, though. It makes perfect sense. <laughs> when you look at it from all angles, it's I love super it. fascinating. I love it. Because it, it speaks to so much more than just the actual mm -hmm. art. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Amy got me into yeah. liking art history because there are all of these. I dig it. I it's, dig it a lot. it's like, it's almost like. A secret book of like what what was happening in the whole world and right. it's told through art so I have a question for you art educators do you think that like moving forward art is not going to be as valued in schools is that a legit no. fear I don't I want I don't, my kids to grow up getting yeah. art at school I think 30 years ago it was in the 80s when you know it was all capitalist and whoever has the most toys wins but I do think as 21st century learners, you don't have to know facts and figures anymore. They're at our fingertips. You can look that all up. What we need is creative thinkers. We need problem solvers. And that's what art teaches you ultimately, is how to be a problem solver, how to think creatively, how to look at something a totally different way. And so... I can't yeah, imagine that we would give it up. I don't think, I mean, I don't think that's ever been a question of like, the artist fading because you can't replace an artist with machines. So do you think art is supported from your perspective by administrators? Like, in art generally school? speaking? In generally business? speaking, um, probably is recognized. more at the lower level administrators that are actually seeing the benefits day to day of art but maybe not the guys and gals that are in the offices that are making policy, that mm -hmm. aren't in the trenches. Yeah. They think they see it as a line in a budget, right? Mm -hmm. But you can really, I mean, you can pretty much teach any subject 
and any VR concept art. VR. VR. Yeah. And to any like language learner, it's all visual. Yeah, it's all visual communication. So. I remember having ESL students that spoke no English, but their artwork was amazing. Yeah, it's all about communication. Someone asked, is there a technique that you want to try that you haven't tried yet? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wish I could throw giant pots that I could put, like, bodies in. What? But I just... <laughs> Whose bodies are you putting in there? I, whoever pisses me off. <laughs> um, keep it in your classroom. I just can't... How would you fire it? I feel like I can make them, but well, then that's, fire it. That's too. Um, yeah, and I think I'm always... Like, the first time I ever contacted my college ceramic professor, I was like, hey, guess what I'm doing? She was like, really? Because I don't think I was one of those standout students. Like, my craftsmanship really takes... It sucks. I really have Blair to has all of my it. early pieces. I mean... I sure you, do. You saw my pieces when I thought I was like... They're I, all... I have a piece oh. that I keep in front of my wheel that I thought was, like, the best mug ever. And I keep it there as inspiration, so when I do get frustrated, I can look and be like, you thought you were good then, and look what you were making. Yeah. Um, That's what I say, like, as a former athlete or somebody who always played sports and likes to be competitive physically, like, you reach a point when you're no longer the fastest or the strongest, but as an artist, you only get better and better and better the more you do it. That reminds me when I was into yoga. And my <laughs> yoga teacher, we had this small practice, and I saw somebody's practice. I was like, oh my god, you're so good at yoga. And the teacher was like, I was good at yoga. You have your own practice. Your Aww. practice is beautiful. There's nothing to be good at. It's kind of like art. Yeah, abs- that's absolutely Yeah, true. I just value the beauty. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, like, I mean, in, in teaching students, too, like, they don't always think what they've made is awesome, but you're like, oh, my gosh. Yeah, the curve right here. Look how the glaze. We're like, you just learned how to throw. Yeah, <laughs> like, that's amazing. You're right. You're killing it. You're right. But Rushing they don't it. see that. Well, and you're also undoing a culture and a generation's yes. thinking of that the end result is what counts. And I know from, we have um, an a very exclusive art program at our school that's an international baccalaureate program and the kids apply for it and they have to write a letter of intent and it's so interesting because so many of those kids are like that's my space to be me and you can see the kids physically unwind when they walk in the studio am I right? Yeah, Um, you're right. It's it's amazing. And what a cool job. For them to embrace that part of it is great there's the other side of it too, where they are very like, this glaze didn't turn out like I wanted. <laughs> Write it down. Like, Learn it from it. Don't nice. use it again. Or like if they have a bad day and then they just let loose and we're like, whoa, <laughs> wait a minute, we're all in here. Yeah. Take a deep breath. Yeah. <laughs> We've had sessions of scream therapy yeah. in the studio at school before. Have you really? That's oh, cool. yeah. It's actually really helpful. <laughs> I can only imagine working with high schoolers. Yeah, ever. we've had to have, like, disco dance parties. I love a dance party. We've also had times where we've had a breakup, and uh, so we just play breakup music. Yeah. And that is art incredibly the helpful. Best class. It is the best. I love the artists. And I, what I love about our art faculty is we are, like, come as you are. We're going to love you warts and all. Yeah. And yeah. if you're going to be a pain in the ass, you're only hurting yourself. Yeah. Like, sure. my only thing, thing is, like, sorry. be kind, be nice, and work hard. You're fired. She told me that. I'm saying, you know, it's I'm really hard. hard. I know. It's hard. Like, conscious energy. But the discipline hours. you learn in the studio is a life lesson. Ooh. Prefer to throw off the hump or taking pieces off the hump when you are done. Um, well, I like to throw on a bat. It's easier, but I think to make a lot of small ones, then I don't want all of those bats and all of that, like, new ball. This is just a little... It's more efficient. Like putting everything just, just there. Right there. How are you going to get it off today without ruining it? When it dries, dry hands. Dry to dry to dry. And I think I'm just going to hand... Dry. I might smush them while they're wet so that they're not so round, they're more oval. And then just hand trim the bottom. The little cheese grater. All right, I'm gonna cheers. Can we get a cheers? cheers. Let's get a Are cheers. you having fun? Are you glad I'm that you came? I'm so glad you're hanging out with Molly like all day. Yeah, we're together. We can't get enough. Oh, 
for five days. It's not enough. Not enough Molly. Not enough Amy. You know, hey, we're good roommates. We were moving yeah. to New York. We were and road trippers. We are great. Amy drives. I drive. And she is up for a coffee break. Anytime. Anytime. Molly's up for anything anytime. That's one of her good qualities. She's always mm-hmm. up to embrace life. I like to embrace like I like, I like new experiences whenever I can get them. Experience, loves the But now if I've done it once and I don't like it, I don't need to ever do it again. But I'll try it. Well, at least you know. Yeah. Um. So in Sika, 2020 in Richmond, I told them last week that I want to do a throne with Molly. I'm gonna get Blair to take off of work. Well, sure. Do I love that we're thinking two years out. Well, you have to. And I told her I was like, you know, it's not like I've applied for this oh or anything. God. And Christy, when she was here last week, we were joking because we we're like, well. What do they accept or not if you just like set up in the parking lot and <laughs> like do it anyway? Yeah, that's true. We're going live regardless if we're officially on the pamphlet or not. We'll be live. We want to do a yes. lecture at Insinka. And we spent the five hour drive home talking a lot about it. Yeah, we have lots of ideas. Um, and it's all kind of based on this California. whole yin and yang. Yeah. Because that, as we all yeah. know, is the balance of the universe. Of life, yin and yang. It is. Um, what She's is super hyper, and I'm super nervous. Molly's, um... She's super, super excited, hyper. Super and hyper. I am... I love... Amy, um, do you have brothers and, and sisters? I have brothers. She has two she older brothers. brothers. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. She can hang with the boys. Yeah. Like so, I'm throwing some bud vases off the hump. Oh, you know what I got in... At Insinka were these like gold decals. So I'm trying to make some white little bud vases, and then I'm gonna put this these gold decals on them. Where are your decals? Can I look? I don't know where where That's they good. were put. Oh, Maybe right. I know. I need to find them. <laughs> no big deal. Just happens. To... No big deal. Look at that beautiful bow. That is beautiful. I should have been paying attention to you more when you were doing that. I'm not paying attention because apparently I'm making spirit charts. But apparently, here's a salad bowl. Well, why can't a spirit live? Or no, you know what it is? It's a gathering bowl. You gather your dreams and your wishes, your hopes, your (laughs) desires. You put them in the freaking bowl. Yes. (laughs) This is why she wanted me here. It is. I wish more of our students could chime in. And well, ex- they're busy studying for exams and doing their homework. Yes, and my exams. junior IB students better be working on their research. Oh, oh. Can we? Until until the end, everything. Until the what, okay, yeah. what don't you like? Yes. What are things you don't like? Blair will tell me. Molly loves life. Blair will, Blair will know. You know. She, she is Holly positive. Holly positive. We she call is. her princess at school. Stop it. We did. What? You tell me more about okay. Molly. So, <laughs> I cannot take credit for that name. Share Molly's story. Yeah. I cannot take credit for that yeah. name. Our dear, dear friend, Chris Williamson. You know Chris Williamson. Refers to her as princess. And we, you know, there is this, you imagine, like, when Molly gets dressed in the morning, that these, like, little bluebirds bring her her black shirt <laughs> and her black pants. And they I think that happens sing to her hair. as she braids her hair in the morning. Yeah. Yeah, they might but then I was I was convinced like of this up. tonight when I heard her on the phone. And she's like, I can just go in my dressing room and do it. Yeah. Only a princess has yeah. a dressing room. She has a dressing room. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what else? Tell me more about Molly at school. Um, but I want yeah I want the internet world to know this. Yeah. What? That if I am found dead in the morning in my office <laughs> of a heart attack, it is because of Molly Sandner. Because if she gets to work before I do, she hides. <laughs> And then she jumps out and scares me. And it scares me. Like, she's, I've almost fallen out of a chair before. That is not cool. Do you scare her? No. Oh, okay. So it's just a Okay. She started it, though. Uh, Well, so her desk is facing the corner. So I can focus. So she gets her early. And so then I come up the stairs, and all I see is her back. And I'm like, this is too easy. (laughs) Okay, there have been times she's hidden behind stuff. <laughs> well, that's how it started. <laughs> well, I hid under your desk that one time. <laughs> but I mean, that's why work is fun. Yeah. Uh, the daylight's out of me. Yeah, tired. we do. It's not a good day if you don't morning. stop reading. Yeah. The like, thing that is, when I think uh, of us and I'm like, holy, that's pitiful, is when one of us isn't at work that day. Uh, and then we like text each other. <laughs> and we, like, do you want to tell them the story? <laughs> About my field trip, how much we love each 
Scholarly is beautifully codependent <laughs> in all the right ways. Uh, okay, so I did take my class, and I try to take my classes on a field trip, but that means that's a day when I can't do lunch with Amy. <laughs> we have lunch together every day. Let's have a refresher that these are co workers. This, <laughs> this is Molly's boss. This is my boss. And this is Molly. This is me. This is the boss. Okay. She hired me and she teaches all the advanced. And I can fire her. Yeah, and I teach all the entry level, and then so my kids become her kids. It's, it's fun. All kinds of partnership and love. All but so we, I had a field trip one day. And you know, being a teacher, they give you school pictures. <laughs> What do you mean they give you school pictures? <laughs> like you get your picture taken? You have. Of course you. You have to be photo taken. You have to be documented in you, the yearbook. You, you know, Molly was class. so excited about the school picture <laughs> that she posted it on her bulletin board. She's so excited. She did her brain extra good. <laughs> <laughs> she, she wore extra good. And she went flat. first there, <laughs> extra good. Before I get journey. Is everybody ready to take a picture today? Is that right? Picture ready. Channel your inner Beyonce. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Yeah. Nonstop. Nonstop. Oh, she does it. Okay, so you're in a story. Sorry, it's Molly's show. No. Molly's in a story. Molly <laughs> makes me laugh, so I love it. Huh. Um, so. <laughs> Too funny. I don't even know where we were. I don't even know what you're the talking about. The field trip, about. the pictures. Oh, <laughs> pictures. Molly wasn't they there for lunch. Me your picture. I wasn't like, there you know, for lunch. I took one of her big booty Judy sculptures. They don't even know. Y'all don't even know about oh, my Okay, I took this big butt woman sculpture. I used to love she to made. try to make a sculpture. And okay. Do you have that? It's at yeah, school. It's at school. Nice. So then I took her school picture and I put it on the face of the sculpture. And I took the sculpture and I put it in her chair and then pulled it up to the table <laughs> that we lunch at. And oh, when Molly was absent, when Molly was on a did. field trip and I made a video of us having lunch together and talking. Wait, so nobody knows what this big boot So this is a doll. <laughs> it's it's like, not a doll. It's, it's like, like an Academy <laughs> Award or something. It's like that size. Yes, it's and a it's figure. Like, like, it has like your boobs and a butt, and it's yeah. a sculpture of a it's, woman. It's very, you know. Wait, yeah. who made it? It's made that? of paper clay. I need Molly it. Molly made it? I need it. Mm -hmm. I kind of want it. I, I love I it. I wouldn't take it from Amy, though. Oh, my right name is Liz. From Iowa, I'm going to college in the fall. From Iowa? <sighs> to hopefully be an art teacher. I love your work. Thank you. I can't read and... Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I love your work and stories. Uh -huh. Hello, hello, hello. I spelled so today before Brazil. in high school at night. I'm going to circle. Well, well you know, as hour. somebody asked about like what techniques you want, I mean, I tell my kids they probably don't hear me say this. I've had Amy start me say this. <laughs> I'm ADD with like what I like to make. I want to make everything, but you can't ever get good at at anything if you're always like jumping around. So I try to like. Do a series of this, and then do a series of that. But there are some things, like the big booty Judy, as she's calling. It. I called it Miss. No, what did I call it? You big booty. It big booty. Judy. No, I just like big, big booty, booty Judy. It was called Big Booty. I had a series of big booties. I made three, and they all failed, so I quit. Molly, don't be a so That's not a good lesson. Yeah, that's yeah. not a good lesson. Turn it around, girl. Turn that yeah, around. Turn that around. Making big booties. Yes. I'll get back to making big booties, but now I'm also making butt bases, and then I'm doing naked raccoon, and then I'm doing sectional pieces. I don't know if y'all saw that, and texture, and mugs, and hand built serving trays, and covered casserole dishes, and sculptures, and the spears. You just listed a lot of things. And that's not all. They colored play swirls. We're getting glyphs, berry bowls. Lord. So excited. Oh, so excited. So I want to get back to big booty, but. <laughs> I appreciate the big booty. That's in our office. Yeah, that's it was cool. hilarious. It made me feel loved <laughs> to get a video of myself. <laughs> it's a very special work relationship you two have. I just think we're very lucky. We're very I lucky. think we're so lucky. You are. So Blair, if you were gonna get back on the wheel, what would you make? Like, are you itching to make anything? I probably should be. I don't know. I think that's the hardest part for me is going in with a vision because it's just so fun to get your hands dirty. But you, I realize and respect having a vision as just not my strong suit. Well, maybe you I always like it better when you're, you're like, today we're gonna make this. <laughs> like, okay, cool. Thank you for thinking for me. Not yeah. Not think. I just want to do. At the end of the maybe it's because of the time slot. At the end of the day, I yeah. really think about something. I just want to show up and do what I'm told. That was another thing I didn't think of. They all talked about was like the timing. Oh, uh, that was one thing I found really awesome. Was so many artists said I'm best in the morning, and I work in my studio in the morning, and then I do all my computer.
your job kind of all bookmaking and stuff That's happening. That's a good strategy. And, you know, there so many of us feel this push where, oh, we got to be in there eight hours, we got to be, but even when you're doing marketing and all of that, it's still working. Yeah, but I thought that was really interesting. Oh, in Richmond, we have the RBA Clay Tour. Oh, yeah. I've okay. never participated, but Amy's... I know about that. It's new. What is that? That's cool. You need to come. So this will be the third year we've done it, and it's a group of studio and um, private home studios and community studios that get together, and um, if you go to rbaclay.com, you can see the map, and you can download it and stuff. But you can basically, it's the first weekend in June, it's Saturday and Sunday, I think 10 to 4, and you can go and visit all of these different um, potter studios, and you can see... Um, most of the potters have their wares for sale. Some of them are actually working and firing and throwing. Um, you can do some of them, like in the city, or you can go out and do the ones that are further out in the county and do some one day, some the next day. Yeah. Um, but it's a really great collective um, of all the different ways that people make art with clay. With clay, yeah. There's That's all the different cool. artists. Mom and I go. It's like a good, like, take your mom out and, like, have it enjoy the enjoy nice day. Enjoy the day. Yeah. yeah. Well, guys, we have less than a minute. This was so fun. Can we get a cheers? Right, bye. Cheers. Close cheers. out cheers. Start with Molly. Cheers. Episode 17. Amy Chaplin. I love that you count. Yeah. Well, because you might. It's yeah. really 17. I only know That's because I just updated it on my website, and so each one it adds a number, so now I know. I just put 16 up. Nothing like going out with some silence. It's only Monday. It's only Monday. But it's a short week. We have a short week with Easter. Happy Easter, everybody. And we won't be back next week. Next week, we're taking a break. So enjoy your Easter, and we'll see you the next week. Theron with Molly, episode 18. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Amy, thank you for coming. Blair, thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. I love y'all. Okay, bye.